Yo, what's up, everybody? Big T here, Big T cooking. Check it out today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make some fajitas right on this Blackstone. You can do it at the house. No need to be going back out to the restaurants because once you cook up this recipe right here, you ain't gonna wanna go back out to no restaurants anyways, okay? So first things first, with any good fajita, you gotta have a good beer. So we're gonna, you know, sample this off right here with some Dos Equis. Mm -hmm. Pound and a half of skirt steak. And we're gonna get started right now. Let me show you how this works, okay? We're gonna get this pound, this uh, skirt steak open up. We'll go ahead and slice him up and let him get marinating, okay? So like I said, this is about a pound and a half right here. <clears throat> we'll pull him out of here, get him thin sliced, then we're going to drop him in the marinade, we'll let the marinade and the meat set together in the fridge for about two hours, along with the chicken, and then uh, we're going to get these bad boys on the Blackstone flat griddle and show you all how this works. But first of all, we're going to just go ahead and get the skirt stick out, just like that, right? Now. You can rinse this off, pat it dry, what have you, all right? But we're gonna just go ahead and take this bad boy out of here like this. Lay him on out, right? We're gonna get him sliced up into fajita slices. Then, once we get him all sliced up, like I said, we'll put it in the marinade and we'll get going on with the program. So you don't have to you don't slice these any particular way. It could be any thickness that you like. We'll go ahead and get this done. And these fajitas right here, you can do this anytime. Okay? You can do this together with your guests. You can do this by yourself. It really don't matter. As long as you got a cold dos equis to go with this whole little cooking scenario, you'll be just fine. So We'll get this done and sliced up. Then I'm going to show you a little trick with the marinade. Now you can, if you want to, you can make your own special little marinade. Okay? But some people, you know, they like to take this old school and do this from scratch. Well, if you got the time and you got the desire, well, hey, break it on out from scratch. But like always, I ain't trying to do this from scratch. I'm trying to eat something. I'm trying to show you how to cook something, okay? So, get this steak over here. Get on up out my way. All right, get this next one slid up. Yep, nice and easy. Not trying to be a five-star celebrity operation. We're just trying to eat something, okay? Fajitas at your house, on your grill, it's a great thing. So, get this all sliced up. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this in a freezer bag, put my marinade, okay? <clears throat> Throw it in the refrigerator, let them sit in there for about two hours. Get all nice and juiced up, and then be ready to go. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take this baggie right here, show you a quick trick, right? Take this, take all this steak, just gonna throw it in this baggie, okay? It don't gotta be done no special kind of way, just get it in the bag, right? So you get that down in there like that right there. Now, set this meat right there, okay? Get it out of the way. Let me just show you a quick little simple fix, right? McCormick already has a fajita mix with all the seasonings in it, you don't have to be no uh, spiceologist or whatever. Spice, is that even a word? Maybe, maybe not. But what the hell? I learned it, you learned it, right here on Big T Cooking, okay? So go ahead, dump that whole package in there, right? So what we wanna do, we wanna get a little bit of water down in this bad boy, okay? Water or beer, about a quarter of a cup. <laughs> get that down in there. Get it all mixed up. Mix it up. Don't leave it in no big chunks, okay? Don't be lazy. Just get down in that bowl, mix it on up, okay? 
Now, if you like, hold on one second. See, you can do whatever you want to do when you're doing your own cooking. See, you can go ahead and bust that up with a little dos equis. Mm hmm Hold up, hold up. Trying to spill all over the set. Okay, go ahead and slice up this lime right here. Mm -mm -mm. Nice thing about cooking, you do whatever, however you want it, right? Don't put this whole lime, squeeze them up in there, right? Get that down in there. Get this marinade going, okay? Now. Ha <laughs> ha There's something right there. Bet you didn't know that trick. Like I told you before, you're not going to learn this in no five-star culinary school. They're going to teach you something boring. Okay? Drop that on down in there in that bag. Get that marinade down in there. Lock him on up. Swish him around. All that. Look at that. All that goodness. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. So, you get that bad boy just like that. Booyah! Right in the refrigerator. Okay? Next, we're going to do the chicken. So, be still. All right, then, with the rest of our uh, fajita ingredients right here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get two pounds of chicken breast right here. Right? And we're going to slice them up nice and thin. Right? Or whatever you consider thin to be. So we're going to get these bad boys sliced up and we're going to get them dropped down in that marinade and I'm going to let him sit in there together with those steaks and let them start absorbing all the contents of that marinade. Like I said, you could make your own home from home uh, scratch marinade if you like, but you know, it's so much easier just to take it out of the pack and add your favorite ingredients to it. A little lime, a little lemon if you want, whatever seasoning you would like to add extra in there. Me personally, I like to add cayenne pepper to mine, but not everybody in my house likes hot fire fajitas. So that chicken out of the way like I said this is about two pounds of chicken breast boneless skinless chicken breast <clears throat> so you slice these bad boys up get them in that marinade and then we'll get the rest of everything together and we're gonna put all this on the blackstone griddle today <clears throat> and we're gonna make us up some slamming fajitas at the house <clears throat> it's a pretty cool little dish you know <clears throat> something nice and simple and realistically the whole cooking process of this hell with with a with a pot of rice some refried beans the whole process the cooking actually only takes about 15 20 minutes so, you can marinate this overnight if you like, or you can do it the same day. It's up to you. It just depends on how much time you have. So, if this is your uh, first time to my channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Now, we'll go ahead and put this other packet have two packets of this McCormick fajita mix. Put this other packet down in there. Oh yeah. Yep, just like that. Drop a little bit of water down in there. Like I said, about a quarter of a cup. Grab a hold of this seasoning beer right here. Put about a quarter of a cup of him in there. <clears throat> and then drop this chicken down in there. all ready to go get 
drop him down in that bag. Set him over there out the way. Get you one more lime. Get this off out of my space. Alright. Get you one more lime. And we're gonna put another whole lime juice down inside this marinade. Squeeze them up. You could go out and buy yourself one of them fancy little lime squeezers, ten twenty dollars, or you could just keep your ten twenty dollars, buy yourself some cold beer. Okay, watch out now! Don't be spilling everything on the set. Okay, so get this lime squeezed up in there. It ain't rocket science. You just gonna squeeze it up, stir all this up, stir it up nice, like I said. No big chunks, seasoning down in there. You got your water, diluting that seasoning. Got a shot of beer in there, a whole lime. Now, if you want to, okay, you can go ahead, put you off about half a teaspoon of pepper, a little bit of salt down in there. Add it up in that marinade. And this marinade right here. It's gonna be quite amazing. It'll be slammed. Don't you worry about it. I told you. Drop it down in there. See how easy that is? For those of you, oh man, I don't cook. I don't know how to cook. Blah blah blah. That's just an excuse. Get with the program. Learn something. Try something different. Okay. Get it down in there. Mash them on up. Spin them around. Smack that ass one time. It don't make no difference. Just get the marinade on the chicken. You know what I'm talking about? There you go. Now, that bag, that air out, roll them up. Some of y'all about know about rolling up, some of you don't. Okay? We'll roll that up just like that right there. Throw him up in that fridge, let him marinate about two hours, and we'll get everything else on the way. So now we're gonna go ahead and chop up some vegetables. And as I'm doing this, I was informed by a member of the crew um, about some fajita facts, okay? Now, as it turns out, this is a Tex-Mex dish. I spit out the rest of them, uh, them facts. So it says that the word fajita is not known to have appeared in print until 1971. The origin of what we call fajitas today goes back to about the 1930s to Texas ranch lands of the Rio Grande Valley, and they were throwaway items. Throw, they were what? Throwaway items, um, such as the hide, the head, and the entrails and meat trimmings, such as the skirt, were given to Mexican vasqueros, also known as cowboys, as part of their pay. Cowboys, cowboys getting paid with fajitas? What the hell? I need to get me a job as a cowboy. <laughs> Interesting. So all these vegetables, see, we're gonna have peppers and onions. Primarily, that's it. Peppers and onions, okay? You can do it. You can put it in there. And then all these are gonna go on that black stone griddle. <clears throat> and inside these fajitas. So, now that we got our vegetables chopped up, let me just go, go ahead and show you how e easy that is right there. So you got some yellow peppers, red peppers, green peppers, onions, right? Our meat is ready to come out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this black stone get it oiled up nice and hot and show you how to move along with this process okay so get your cold beer and your nachos ready because fajita is going to be done here directly so right now <clears throat> what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and get this oil on the blackstone flat griddle so that we can get our skirt steak and our chicken on there so we can go ahead and get these slamming fajitas going but sure would be nice if i had a cold beer I don't know where the hell my beer assistant is. 
What the hell is that? Oh no! Get out of the way! It's what the hell's my fajitas? Holy shit, man! What in the hell? A T Rex beer assistant trying to eat all the fajitas? Run for your life! Rawr! <laughs> Oh, he's so scary. Wow. You better not try and eat up all our fajitas. I would love to have them all. Wow. <laughs> Beer assistants <laughs> these days trying to get everything for nothing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for my cold Dos Equis. Let's go ahead and get with the program. All right. So our oil... Doing wonderful. Okay, let me get that spread around right there. <laughs> get that spread around up in there nice. And then we go ahead and get our shrimp steak on there and our chicken. Just like that. Okay, here we go. Hold tight, fellas. So this skirt steak been in here about two hours now. We're gonna cook him first, get him going, and we're gonna set him to the side so that we can get our chicken on the same page. Okay? So take this skirt steak, dump him right on the marinade and everything. Get that bad boy down in there. Yep. We're gonna let him go down in there for a couple minutes. All spread around. So we want to get this down on here and get him cooked <clears throat> right up to about a nice medium rare. Because as he settles, the uh, the remainder of the heat is going to take it on to our desired cooking temperature. Okay. So we'll give that about two minutes on medium high. <laughs> okay. So now that our skirt steak is done, it's resting on low heat. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and blast up these chicken breasts. Right there. Mm -mm -mm. Pour that marinade. If, if you're working with the Blackstone, go ahead and pour that marinade right on the grill. Okay? So we get our chicken down on there. A couple minutes to our, you know, to make sure that the chicken is cooked thoroughly. Right now, I believe I have this bad boy. Well, now it is. It's on medium low. Oh, excuse me, medium high. Make up your mind which one you want. Medium low, medium high. Right? So we got that chicken on there. Marinade going. Flip him around a little bit. That bad boy going. Now, as soon as this chicken is done, I'm going to throw these vegetables up on here. And all of this marinade and all this marinade juice, okay, for right around two or three minutes, okay. And then we'll be ready for some world-class fajitas. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and throw the water on here, so that when we put our vegetables in there. Got a nice little marinade still kicking from everything that we put in there previously. So, just about two minutes. We'll let this sit on here two, three minutes. Make sure that chicken's thoroughly cooked. And then, we're gonna get our vegetables down in there. All right, so now everything, chicken's ready, steak is ready. So now 
we're going to dump these, these vegetables that we made earlier right down in there for a quick two, three minutes. We're going to dump them right down there on that griddle. Ooh-wee. Yup. Nice and pretty. These fajitas right here. Look at here. After you eat these homemade fajitas, you're not going to be happy with restaurant fajitas after this. You're going to be like, man, why are we going to go to the restaurant, spend, you know, so much money on fajitas, well, we could just make them at the house on the black stone, right? Have a little fajita party, okay? So you can do that as long as, oh, no, what is that? A fajita, Rex. Holy shit. Get out the way. Run for your life. Oh no. Fajita. <laughs> hey, look at here, Fajita Rex. You better get away from my Fajita grill. It looks super good. Uh-huh. Well, I guess if the Fajita Monster T-Rex doesn't eat all our fajitas, I guess we'll be able to share some with y'all when they're done. So we'll just have to see what happens. All right, so now all of our steak is done, our vegetables are done, and our chicken is done. So now the next process, I'm gonna go ahead and drop our tortillas on there and let them steam up and get them ready so that we can build these bad boys and have some slamming homemade fajitas on the Blackstone griddle. Okay, so let me show you a quick little trick about heating up these tortillas um, on the Blackstone. <clears throat> First, we wanna put a little water right on there, right? Then, I got these bad boys, <clears throat> not that that really did much, <laughs> but <clears throat> I got these tortillas in here. The griddle, is on medium low. I'm going to squirt just a little bit of water in there, right? And I'm going to put this aluminum foil back on there. Okay? Now here's my corn tortillas. So I'm going to squirt just a little bit of water on the sides, right? We're going to create some steam up in there. And I'm just going to let them sit on there on medium low. Let me just make sure I got it on medium low for a minute or so. Then I'm going to flip them over, right? for about one more minute to make sure that everything in there is nice and warm. Okay, so I just flipped those over. I'm gonna let them be on there for about one more minute. They'll be nice and warm. And then we're gonna go ahead and build some fajitas. Hang tight. All right, everybody. So this is fajitas on the Blackstone griddle. Came out perfect. We're about ready to bust these bad boys up. So just remember the next time you want to have some fajitas, you got chicken, steak, hey, you can do it all at your house um, and save yourself a whole bunch of money, have a whole lot of fun. But uh, in the meantime, look at here. Get this bad boy out of my way. We'll go ahead and try one of these right now. Make sure that they are worthy of this picture shot okay so I'm gonna drop the recipe down below and if you like the video and you want to buy me a cold beer just click on the link below but in the meantime let's try one of these big bad boys right now see what we got going on mm-hmm that's the one shut down the video it's time to eat. Peace out, Big T. Hope you subscribe, like the video, share it with somebody. Peace.